Wow. My first diamond is a European eel. Wow. During the daytime, minnow on a six hook. Craziness. As you see there, guys, eels can be caught during the daytime. And that was a big diamond eel. 11.23 pounds. My buddy, Ed Kiefer, look at this. My buddy, Ed Kiefer, did this right here. Record, 11.90 pounds. So my eel was pretty big, 11.23 pounds. We weren't too far off the community record. Ed messaged me and saying that he got the record. And many of you know Ed, he mods for Lady Legend, helps guide and do her guided hunts and things. He's a mod over here in my channel, longtime friend. So congratulations to Ed Kiefer. But if you're looking for an eel guide, we got you covered right here. Please do me a favor, guys, before we go any further, though, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. My name is Darth Sloan, your partner to content curator for Expansive Worlds. We do a little fishing, a little hunting. Over here. Let's see what we can do. We are looking at the eel today. All right, we've got minnow, which is what I'll be using today on a number four hook. Why the number four hook, Darth? That catches silvers and up. That's generally what I go for. If you just use the golden up, don't get many fish. And I'm still out there trying to get that XP. As you can see, we're almost 91 uh, without challenges. It's really tough to get to 100, but we're out here catching as many fish as we can to try to make that happen. I've already leveled all my posts, so now I'm looking at leveling this thing. The tee off talk that I got at level 90 look at that beast max drag 55.12 pounds we'll get the match rod when we hit level 100 but that's not what you're here to talk about you're, you're here to see how in the world are we catching these eel eel are everywhere but where's everybody getting these diamonds at well, we are at my favorite spot right now right here this is where i caught mine i think ed caught his somewhere around here this whole lake is good guys this whole lake is good for eel. Uh, I've got really four spots that I like to check out. This one here is pretty close to this boat valet here. But this whole lake, I imagine you could probably catch a diamond eel on. I like this one because it's really close. Here you just travel right here to this trailhead. Drive down here. Summon you a boat. Get out here. And we're going to do a little fish and see what we can find out. But a number four hooking up. And as you see there, let's look at their traits a little bit. Hard fighter and night owl. That's about it. It's about all you need to know. They are going to nibble. Uh, that's another little secret I'll share with you. Unless it says aggressive, they're going to nibble and give you a little warning. So if you want to tab out, do a little something, you, you're going to get a little bit of a warning before they bite. So that's always good. But if you start getting other things like Xander biting on that minnow, then try switching around your baits. As you look here, you'll see Xander. Minnow, grub, shad, red worm, hot dog, leeches, liver, spoon, crankbait, worm. So if we look at the eel, cheese. If you start getting bothered by Xander, switch over to cheese. Then you might start getting bothered by carp. So it just depends on where you're at and what the situation is. You can switch back and forth. But the eel just bite on these four here. And cheese is the only one that Xander don't fool with. Nighttime is when you want to... Fish for the eel, but I caught mine during the daytime, so you never know. You just never know. I volunteer as tribute. Let's see here, looks like we got a nice little silver eel. Now, I am way over geared here. I'm using like, but I, I'm catching as many fish as I can on this TF talk, trying to level it. Even if it just gives a smidge of XP. So, because it's, I think it's like over 10,000 XP when you level this thing. 5.57 silver. So let's go see if we can't catch one at each spot. So, there's, here's this spot. We'll go around here. Another thing you can do too if they're not biting well. I've been struggling with the, the Xander, the Xander keep coming. Here, so I'm going to go on around the the curve here, and we're going to go to Ed Kiefer's spot. See if we can't catch an eel there. Also, if you want, you can slip down to a five hook, 
start catching some bronzes. Maybe you catch enough bronzes, end up spawning a diamond down. Who knows? I mean, it's, it's, it's all RNG and chance. Um, we don't know the formula to that. Catch a lot of fish, catch a diamond. <laughs> That's my formula. We are at Ed's location. Let's throw some bait out there and see what happens. I've got a good idea. Let's make an eel guide as it's breaking daylight. <laughs> Pro streamer. But you get the gist of it. Just go around to these spots and throw out a four or five hook minnow. Preferably when it's dark. But I do want to take a moment and remind everyone that on December 21st, I'm having a subathon. This will be my first ever subathon. I've never even had one of those over on Twitch, which is really what a lot of these are designed for. But I'm not interested. Well, of course, I'm interested in money and I'm, I'm appreciative of any money. But I'm more interested in growing the channel. And that's a pack. And subbing is free. So I am going to build some other things in there, though, like... Um, gifting memberships or or becoming a member uh, super chats and things will add extra time onto the clock as well but um i think i'm going to do just a free sub adds three minutes onto the clock membership or gifted membership will add 10 minutes on the clock and then super chats a dollar per minute something like that uh, but my primary goal is just to, to build the channel up and, and it's free subs. You know, uh, we could end up, I'm going to cap it at 24 hours. We're going to do it. We're going to start at 8 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time. We'll put two hours on the clock and we'll go as long as you guys make me go. We're going to do DLC giveaways during the day. We're going to give away some merch, you know, some Darth Sloan hats. I'm wearing a Kentucky hat, never mind. Um, but coffee cups, hats, DLCs, things like that throughout the day. And we'll see how long we go. Just trying to grow the YouTube channel. And I appreciate if you guys help spread the word for me. December 21st, that is on a Thursday. I will be on Christmas break at that time. And hopefully we can help grow the channel. I think we've got got an eel coming. We got the one-armed octopus coming over. My anaconda don't want none unless you got minnows, hun. All right, come on. It's a good song, right? Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. They all look huge to me. Well, that's because that one was. It's a gold uh, 7.33. Oh, I had someone comment. What's well, a gold? All right. That's a gold eel. <laughs> all right. 7.33 pounds, 3.19 length. I might be a little country just a little all right let's try some of these other spots out and i will return all right we are at the third location which is right here on the map and i have personally have never fished this location i saw that it, uh, it was a known diamond spot in discord so i figured i'd come try it but as you can see it's 5 37 it has broken daylight on us i did catch my diamond in daylight but this spot is hit or miss or it's just daylight they're not biting good right now so leave it to me to wait too late to uh but i i really feel like we need a little more night time there was a time when we complained the players complained about night time being because i think it was equal at one time and now it's now it's too short it just doesn't last long enough because we have night time fish the game has changed since it first came out so got right here I thought that was an eel, but it's evidently it's cousin the pike. So anyway, guys, and they're probably not cousins. I just said that. So, but I 
tried to catch us catch us one at each spot we did catch a nice goat here at ed keeper's spot i've also not been up to this spot but it's breaking daylight so you get the gist of it those four spots preferably at night again i caught a diamond during the daytime but i wasn't fishing for eel at that time i was fishing for where was i fishing i can't even remember what i was fishing for at that time and I think Ed was fishing for carp when he caught his. So that, that's just the way it goes, isn't it? A lot of times we catch fish that we're not even targeting. But if you would, guys, please let me know if this helped you at all. Again, I'm just using number four hook. Might want to use a number five, catch some bronzes. You know, if you're getting bites or not. Um, but silvering up with the number four. And there's a minnow. We did catch us a nice gold. Gold. Uh, but if you would, do me a favor, like, subscribe, notify bell, catch our videos, catch our live streams, which are Tuesdays at 8 p.m. We go live usually about an hour before Tackle Tuesday starts. Not sure what we're doing this week, but I did slip to second place. Johnny is in first place by one, and Scarecrow is nipping at my heels. So we're, there are two weeks left. I got to take my spot back, baby. Camizo did not treat us too well last week. But I appreciate you guys and all the support. Also, Twitch, Darth underscore Sloan, if you would, drop me a follow over there as that is where I'm streaming mostly. Thank you guys so much, and we will catch you in the next video.